I have such great memories of last year, Mr. Pacino, forgetting to thank my wife. <laughs> Mother. All right, all right, I get it, I get it. I'm not gonna stand up here making long speeches. I'm gonna stick to the script. No eight minute speech like last year, but fun fact, my speech was actually longer than this year's Call of Duty campaign. Whoa! This was the quote that sent some Call of Duty developers to X where they X'd the following. Funny, but yeah, the metrics that COD absolutely destroys all of the God of War games, probably combined to be honest in, is also equally laughable, if not more. Imagine having short user engagement once your game is consumed. Can't relate, lol. Hashtag Game Awards. Now, I'm not here to tone police what people say or do on their own platforms, but a few things about these tweets rubbed me the wrong way, and I wanted to explore why that was. First, I think they come off as completely tone deaf in a time when more and more gamers are becoming frustrated and burnt out at the endless cycle of engagement-based metrics that are designed to keep players on figurative treadmills that just bloat game time. But then this got me thinking. For the sake of argument, let's say that these devs have all the metrics and are correct for saying that Call of Duty blows God of War out of the water in terms of user engagement. If that were the case, then Call of Duty should also blow God of War out of the water in its reviews as well, right? If we go to a site like Metacritic and compare the two, we can clearly see that this is not the case. In fact, you need to go back to 2019 for Call of Duty to clear 80 points with Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and you need to go back all the way to 2009 to Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 for it to get to 94 points, where it finally ties with the last two God of War releases. So if Call of Duty has such higher engagement metrics than God of War, why are its reviews so much worse? Better yet, why does its developers care more about player engagement than literally making a more well-received game? And that's where the disconnect comes from, and why these tweets rub me the wrong way. Rather than making good games, it feels like there's a trend in game development to make games good enough to get people interested in trying them out, only for them to be thinly veiled scanner boxes designed to milk players with microtransactions. Now to be fair, there's nothing new about thinly veiling scams as mediocre or subpar quality games, and there's been shovelware and quarter gobbler since the dawn of the arcade. What really gets me about these quotes is that the developers seem to have mistaken engaging gameplay for fulfilling gameplay, or they don't seem to understand the difference. Playing a good game once for 20 hours doesn't make it a less enjoyable experience than a game you play for 200 or 2000 hours, and the meme of people not recommending games they've played for over 500 hours is a thing for a reason. To put things another way, preferring engagement over enjoyment is an argument for quantity over quality with the Call of Duty developers preferring quantity. Which, is this any surprise considering the absolute number of Call of Duties Activision has released? I didn't misspeak earlier when I said Call of Duty Modern Warfare came out after Modern Warfare 2. This is fine, I guess, but in a market that's already oversaturated with games designed to waste your time, the question becomes, which game is the best at wasting your time? It becomes an issue of quality, ironically enough, and the developers choosing to champion quantity over quality through metrics like player engagement feels like they're putting the cart before the horse, troubled development cycle or not. So is it any surprise that players say a game is shit when the system the developers are operating under is designed to produce shit? I understand that these are only two developers, and it's completely natural to want to defend a product you've worked on, and they have every right to do so, but the way these two have approached the topic sets off major red flags for me, and as they say, where there's smoke, there's fire. And where there's smoke and fire, there's Snoop Dogg standing by to blaze it with you for only 2400 COD points or $20 American. So yeah, I just wanted to say my piece over this minor controversy since it's been weighing on my mind lately. This video is pretty different from most of the other ones I've made so far, so if you enjoyed it and want to see more videos on these kinds of topics, let me know with a comment, a like, or a sub. I'd also like to shout out all my patrons and channel members, you guys really help motivate me to not let you down and keep making videos. Until next time. Last protagonist out.